In this video, I'm going to show you Supernext, an open source blog CMS built using Next.js, Superbase, and TipTap. And I built it. And the reason why I built it is because I did not want to read the docs of another CMS. So I just started and I kept on going. And then I'm like, why don't I open source this and share this with the world? So you can go to cms.rasmic.xyz. Links will be in the description. The GitHub code will be in the description as well. So you can use this yourself, host it yourself, tweak the code yourself, do whatever you want with it. But let me give you a quick demo. So you can go on dashboard, authenticate yourself. Right off the bat, you'll see that you have no articles. So it's going to prompt you to go to my documents. And it's going to tell you to create a document. So I'll click on create. Let's say subscribe to this channel is the name of our document. I'll click here and then let's do an H1 and say, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it. And then let's do H2 here. Thank you very much, amigo. All right, so this is our doc. This is our article that we want to publish. So we're just going to submit this. And then now we're going to get ready to publish. But before we publish, we want to make sure that we create an author in a category. Luckily, I already have an I have two authors and two categories. And the way you would create an author in the categories, you'd either go to create author name, your socials, upload an image and hit submit and category. Just enter the category. Like, for example, I'll do chicken. Hit submit categories create. If I go to publish article, you see the category there. So now that we have our author and category and our document created, what we're going to do is we're on the publish tab and we're going to publish this document. So let's say YouTube is awesome. Let's make this a subtitle. We'll do Michael dash loves dash Jesus as the slug. We'll have that as the keywords. Um, and these keywords are for SEO purposes. So use them however you want. And then let's upload uh, an image. I'll upload this image right here. And then we'll just say handsome man. We'll make the author Ross Mike. And then we'll do real estate as a category. And then we'll select the document we created earlier. All we have to do is click submit. It says the article is published. So if I go to my dashboard, my article is published. And what's cool is I can click here. I can view my article, which is pretty nice. But there's also one thing I want to show you, you see this check mark here. This shows that the article's published. Now, if I go to this blog site that I'm creating for my wife, when I refresh the page, you see that this same blog has just shown up here. And that's because uh, my wife's blog uh, is pulling from the super next CMS API. And the second this blog went live, it is live here as well. Now, what's cool is if I click on publish and I publish this blog and I refresh here, Blog's gone, which is pretty nice. So let me publish this back. So you can see again that it's here. So there's a couple things I could do. I can share this publicly. So let's say I just wanted to share this uh, blog uh, with someone else. I just click update. Then I can copy the link here. And then when I click on this link, I can see the article. And what's awesome is if I turn this to private and now I refresh, redirects you back to the home page. So privacy a one. Now I can edit this blog if I want to. Uh, let me go back to the page. You can see that you have thank you very much amigo. I would really appreciate it. We're going to uh, remove that. So let's go edit. Remove that right there. Click update. Okay, let's go back to preview. And you just see please subscribe to the channel to this channel. Now it's very important to understand when you edit an article, you are not editing the documents, the documents are very different. And the reason why I have this separation is so that you can create one document and sort of uh, publish it in various styles just to see which one gets you uh, more traffic with different keywords. I had that in mind, which is why documents and articles are different. So I can delete this uh, article. And this article is gone. And if we refresh here, article's gone, but the document is still there because the documents are different than the articles. I can publish this again. So the way uh, my wife's blog is able to pull uh, the articles from Supernext CMS is you go to the API tab and there's three simple APIs. You can retrieve all blogs with this API right here, API slash blog slash all. You can retrieve all slugs, which is you could do this with API slash blog slash slugs. 
and then you can retrieve article by slug slash API slash blog slash slug, right? And then all you have to do is pass the API key through the headers, which you get when you create an account in the settings tab, you just copy this and then put it in your environment variable. So this is how I have the infra set up. I use Next.js, tip tap and upload thing on the front end uh, and back end. Next.js for the back end as well. And this is where you create documents, authors and categories. This is where you can view and delete documents. You can publish, unpublish and delete articles. And this is where I build the API to read. And then I use Supabase for the database. So I store user information, authors, categories, documents, and articles. Again, documents and articles are different because I wanted people to have the ability to publish uh, the same document multiple times with different titles, subtitles, slugs, and all that stuff for SEO purposes so they can see which one um, is getting them more traffic. Now, let's look at the code just to give you a simple breakdown of how I have this set up. So all the action happens in CMS. Um, and you can start here again. The link will be in the description to the GitHub. Um, this is fully open source, so you can play with it and roast my code however you want. Um, I use server actions. So in utils, I have actions. I use server actions for in app calls. And then for the public facing API, I use the API tab. I'll be honest, I've been a big fan of server actions lately. And I can't wait till they officially recommend us to use server actions for our APIs. They haven't yet. I'm waiting for that recommendation because I genuinely love server actions. They make development very, very easy. Um, I use upload thing to uh, upload the images and get the URL and I store that URL in the database. Shout out to Theo for upload thing. Now to build the application, I use two things that I'm launching soon. The first one is style UI. Uh, again, the link will be in the description. This is coming very soon, but I've basically put together uh, my favorite component libraries and built landing pages and dashboards that allow me to ship very, very fast. And I'm going to be sharing that with you very, very soon. Again, the link will be in the description. And I'm also going to be pushing an update to my starter template uh, very soon. And I use my starter template always when developing various applications. And this is one of the times where I used it um, and it helped me ship very, very fast. That being said, if you want a more in-depth video or maybe a tutorial on how I built this, where we can go through the code line by line, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but this is super next CMS. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. I would really appreciate it. I know um, this is a big uh, ask, but I would really, really appreciate it if you went onto the GitHub repo and you gave it a start. It would really mean the world to me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.